Hello everyone, it's Patty. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you a new project which is not a planner. This is actually going to be my December daily. So if you're not familiar with December daily, it's a style of journaling. Basically you journal every day for the 25 days that uh, lead up to Christmas and it was introduced by Ellie Edwards in 2017. I have done this several times. Um, I love doing it. It's just a way to just sit down at the end of the day to write down something that happened. You can add a little picture of what you did that day and then you can look back, you know, years later and just kind of, you know, reminisce on what you were doing that year and how that Christmas was uh, special or different or what happened. And it doesn't have to be something you know extraordinary every day you can just write the little things you know bake cookies with the kids or visit a grandma or hang out with my friends or took a nice walk whatever you would like to do but in any case to uh, set up the december daily i have used one of irene's simply gilded um, large sticker albums which as you know i love turning into uh, traveler notebooks and uh, i have also a tutorial on how to do that but this is the pink, white, pink and white parfait album, which is still available in the shop. This was from last year, and I hold, you know, held on to it, and uh, I kept it as a sticker album. And I'll show you how I basically turn it into a journal. Let's put it away. And for the paper pad that I have used, I have used mostly this uh, paper pad from Michaels, which is in stores right now. I purchased it during a sale. It's the Recollection Silent Night. And it, I've used tons of paper from it. I basically used every single one actually of them and some of them probably twice. So that one is definitely a wonderful uh, option. And then I have added a, cup, a couple of sheets from this paper pad from last year, always from Michaels. This was the Sugar Blush. I think I, I've used uh, these ones that have kind of like the full fur and uh, maybe a couple of the, um, I'll need to see. I think I have used, uh, no, actually maybe just that one, but you know, you can definitely substitute it for something else. Then I have uh, used, and I'm actually going to be adding in some of the cute stickers that uh, from Simply Gilded that just came out. I've used some of the trees. I'm waiting to add more stickers, as I'll explain to you uh, my concern with uh, not creating too much bulk in it. So I will add these uh, uh, later on, but they match beautifully. And then I have used in the front these thickers. These are the thickers by... Uh, What's the brand? American Crafts. Um, they are available on Walmart. I saw them on Walmart, although I've had them for a long time. There are this glitter um, glitter stickers. They're a beautiful pink, so you can get them there if you don't have them. And then for the, uh, because we're doing clearly a December daily, so we're counting down almost like an advent. Um, I could not find numbers that match the color scheme, so I found this printable on Etsy, and it comes with all the days of Christmas. I just printed them out real quick, printed on a nice uh, uh, paper. It comes with days 1, 2, 3, 25, and then it also has some options for tags, uh, and this is by My Porch Prints on uh, Etsy. I think it was on sale when I got it for $1.99 immediately printed I love love them so uh, I'll show you the washi that I use later but without any further ado here's how it looks like so um, the, the first issue actually is there may be some reflection because uh, um, I have kept the plastic sleeves so I just want to warn you about that but um, of course I had to decorate a little bit of my pocket because I love to, I, I love to decorate them as I mentioned, I was concerned about bulk because I am somebody who uh, is, you know, loves to use uh, 3D um, embellishments. And so because this is, there's a lot of pages that you'll have to keep, a lot of cardstock, I did not want to use too much, you know, 3D embellishment this time. So in the pocket here, I just added this uh, chipboard sticker. This is from the My Mind's Eye Sugar Plum Collection, which came out in 2016. I've had it in my stash for a very long time. If you have something similar, it's super cute. If you don't have that, you can definitely use some sort of ribbon, just use it with double um, sided tape. And then this Merry and Christmas Cheer came actually from the Michaels paper pad. There's a page in which you have kind of like like washi style different um, prints of the paper and I've just uh, um, cut it 
And then here, um, this is also one of the papers from the same Michael's paper pad, the one from this year. And I just uh, uh, cut out uh, a little piece of this page. It's a huge page that has a huge print of a beautiful wreath, clearly would not fit in here. And so I just fussy cut around it and I just slipped it in here. If you wanna, you can laminate it. I did not laminate it just because I didn't wanna have to go through that later, um, you know, fussy cut all around it again. But um, I think it looks super pretty there. Just give you the little hint of a Christmas tree. Now let's look at my pages. So this is the first page, and uh, um, as you can tell, I had to do I had to add a little bit of a 3D effect because I didn't want the first page to be super flat. So because uh, the pages are included, so this is like basically like a sticker album. I'm just uh, including uh, you know cardstock inside instead of stickers. I added my 3D uh, decorations on the outside of the page. So this is actually a little paper banner on uh, 3D dots. That's actually from an older collection from uh, Prima Marketing. It was one by um, their designer, um, what's his name, I'm sorry, Garcia. Um, it was a uh, I'll add it below but it's a collection from a couple of years back and then this wreath also came from the Michael's paper pad I just fussy cut around it and I fussy cut in the way so that the word joy would pop out uh, from the journaling card below which I'll show you and then these are the thickers that I've used on the um, you know um, for to establish which here it is and here is uh, the basically insert that I have been using. So to uh, create your pages, you wanna cut out uh, a five by seven piece of cardstock, and then uh, I'll show you how I layer them. But for the first page, I have used this full fur, which is the one that came in the older Michael's uh, paper pad, the sugar blush from last year. And then I have this journaling card from Irene from Simply Gilded, it's from this year. It's got this adorable little cardinals, little art chickadees or other birds and the words joy. So I just uh, uh, wanted something simple, pink, because because clearly it's gonna be pastel themed and the word joy uh, shows up there. So now let's start with the December daily. So every day you'll have a full page to write down what you like. Now some days you really don't have much happening. I usually like to take little tiny pictures, you know, one of those little instant cameras and just add a little picture there. If you're putting up the tree, if you're picking up ornaments or um, you're cooking and picking cookies with the kids, you can add a little picture there. And uh, um, just to show you how the layout uh, is, basically you'll have a five by seven paper and then I have uh, um, a glitter paper here and it's kind of important to have a thinner like um, glitter paper the thinnest you can find the better it is because you're only gonna see a little bit on the outside but this uh, um, frame basically it's a four by six and then uh, instead the insert in in the middle here it's a three and a half by uh, five and a half so to me, it's plenty to write. If you need more uh, room, I would suggest actually creating a sort of flap so you basically can um, layer a second piece of paper under it and leave it open so that you can lift it up later on and you can write under it. And here is those uh, little uh, kind of countdown, uh, little stickers of snow globes and they're vintage looking. I think they looked very pretty with the theme and these are the ones that I printed out from Etsy and then just to add a touch of washi I have used uh, alternating washi from Simply Gilded and I'll show you which ones I use they're from this year so they're in the shop right now but these are the main two that I have used so we have this one that has the adorable Christmas trees uh, super pretty in a very soft pastelli pink and then this other one that has the um, Christmas gifts so or gifts whatever you prefer so these are the two ones that I use I try to keep it consistent throughout the whole you know um, kind of daily journaling just because the journaling is more important you want to add something more but again once I'm done with everything I will add in more stickers if I have room so here's another page so this one has more of and I'll get closer so you can get a better look but I apologize again for the reflection as a kind of a, um, poinsettias pink poinsettias in the background same silver etc number two then the next page is one of those pages that I told you I cut out the uh, little hot Christmas cheer from. So it is kind of a patchwork of different 
um, different, um, let me show you actually, it's fairly easy to see this way, here we go. So it has different papers that are stacked, and I just think it's so pretty. This time, uh, because I didn't have enough glitter paper uh, to match, I'm alternating uh, just metallic paper with uh, regular glitter paper. So just to keep it consistent, but to kind of change it up. Then I have a, a beautiful page with the, the um, ornaments in the background. And again, you can use this with any paper pad you have. This is probably one of my favorite papers though. It's a paper that has a, a pink background, but then it has this beautiful kind of like mint colored um, um, ice skates. I would go ice skating just to wear those. They are super pretty. I think that Michaels has come out with really pretty pastel papers. Now, if you don't have this paper pad, any paper pad would do, clearly. You don't have to use this one. And then uh, um, there's uh, this one. I tried to kind of match them because, you know, it's. I wanted to do as many different papers as I could. So this one had a little bit of a green background with some snowflakes. So there was some green here with the bow. And because there was this beautiful bow, I decided to go um, um, you know, horizontal in uh, the journaling. So hopefully I won't have too much to write on December 8th. Then December 9th, this is another one of my favorite papers. It has this beautiful um, kind of foiling, the silver foiling on the back. And then uh, this one has more ornaments. Uh, and uh, this is another one instead that I took from uh, the newer pad from the older pad from Michael it has kind of a wool um, kind of background. Uh, and uh, there we go. So it uh, basically it's you going all uh, you know all the way through the 25th. If you have a special day that you do something special during that day, clearly you can dedicate more um, you know more than a page. I usually you know don't have that super much to write so i just try to this is plenty for me i love the switch too with the little um kind of like vintage style little mini trees and then as we approach to uh the uh, christmas eve i actually should have left a little more on christmas eve depending if you sell it do more celebrations on christmas eve some of you may open gifts on christmas eve i open it on christmas day but we usually have a christmas eve dinner so i may uh probably i should probably add something there but didn't think about it then and then i left two pages for uh christmas day and i had another sticker from the uh, Prima marketing collection and then for the back I had to do a little washi dashboard because I had an extra page and this is the most adorable washi dashboard I just love every single thing about this washi dashboard in the middle there is the sticker from Irene from Simply Gilded it's so soft and I added these other stickers I mean these other washi tape this beautiful washi tape with the, um, the little Christmas city with the little um, cars and I adore the little car with the tree on top and then I've added more washi from last year from Irene and then a couple of the five millimeters there and in gold foiling and it's super cute now what do you see here is that basically I had several pages left but to reduce the bulk and give me more room to add more stickers I just trimmed them out with uh, um, a sharp um, one of those little sharp cutters and so I trimmed them out you don't have to but this way it closes up nicely and uh, it does not now of course it's not going to close for me there we go it closes it up nicely and you can take it with you and it's something that you know you can kind of um, you know look back in the years past or with your family or send it it would also you know again make a nice uh, a gift to family that can be with you so i hope you will enjoy this uh, and if you have any question please feel free to send me a dm i answer all dms at planning fancy on uh, uh, instagram and i will be coming back next week hopefully with my uh, uh, december setup which is also going to be uh, holiday Christmas themed. I just wanted to have it out early so that you guys can kind of replicate it if you like it. But I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful uh, weekend and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.